Attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference. Hello everyone, I am your study builder. In this video, we will learn about English grammar noun from 5th to 12th class. Chapter 2. Noun. A noun is a word used for a place, person, or thing. Everything which has a name and we talk about it is a noun. Everything is donated by a name and that naming word is called a noun. Often a noun will be the name for something we can touch, example, lamb, pen, table, but sometimes a noun will be the name for something we cannot touch, example, happiness, determinism, truth. Some examples of noun. Everything is represented by a word that is called a noun. Some of the examples of noun are written below. People, omit, boy, singer. Animals, cat, cow, elephant. Places, Delhi, city, street. Objects, cup, pencil, book. Qualities, boldness, sorrow. Actions, writing, listening, running. Types of noun. There are many types of noun depending upon some aspects. One noun may fall in multiple categories. A common noun may be a countable noun and at the same time that noun may be a concrete example, pencil is a common noun and is countable. Concrete and as well it is singular noun. Some main types of noun are tabulated below. Proper noun, common noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, collective noun, compound noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, gerund noun, gender-specific, verbal noun. Proper noun. A proper noun is the given name of a person, or a specific place or thing, i.e. its own name, example, Amit, Delhi, and BMW car. A proper noun always starts with a capital letter. All days and months are proper noun and start with capital. Letters, example, Sunday, March, and December. Name of all person, name of countries, name of oceans are counted in category of proper nouns, example, Ronica, India, Atlantic. Common noun. A common noun is the word used for a class of person, place, or thing, example, person, city, and dog. Common nouns are not capitalized unless used in start of a sentence. There are some exceptions like in poetry where every word of new line is capitalized. Something that is personified in poetry is also capitalized example, so nature incites them in their hearts. Concrete noun. Concrete nouns are the things that we can see or touch physically. This noun contrasts with abstract category of noun. For example, tree, hammer, and pen. We can see them, feel them, or touch them. Sometime we name it material noun. Abstract noun. Abstract nouns are things you cannot see or touch. Abstract nouns do not have physical existence. These nouns are difficult to guess. Sometime learners get confused with abstract noun and adjectives. Abilities and emotions are abstract. Noun example, bravery, joy, determination, etc. Collective noun. Collective nouns are words that denote groups collection or multitude of something. These noun are used as singular, for example, team, army, concert. Compound noun. Compound nouns are nouns made up of more than one word. For example, court martial, pickpocket, water bottle. Some compound nouns are two words, example, peace pipe, some are hyphenated, example, playoff, and some have become single. Words, example, eye opener. And many of them are currently transitioning through those stages. Therefore, spelling compound nouns can be a nightmare. 
Some compound nouns form their plural by adding an s to the principal word, not necessarily to the end. Example, brothers-in-law. Countable noun. A countable noun is a noun that can be counted in numbers like one pen, two cars with both a singular and a plural form. Example, pen slash pens, book slash books. Uncountable noun. An uncountable noun is a noun without a plural form, for example, oxygen, patience. Such nouns do not include counting. All abstract noun falls under the uncountable category of nouns. Gerund noun. Gerunds are nouns that end ing and that represent actions. Gerunds have verb-like properties. But these are used differently in a sentence unlike verbs. Gerund noun are modified with adverbs. How to differentiate gerund noun and verb? Look at two examples. A. Ram is singing a song. B. Ram is fond of singing. In sentence, A. Singing is verb as it show action that Ram is performing. Verb with ing are used followed by helping verbs is, am, was, were, etc. But in sentence, B. Singing is not an action being performed by Ram and not followed by a helping verb. Gender-specific nouns. Gender-specific nouns are nouns that are definitely male or female. For example, king, vixen, and actress. A blonde is a woman. A blonde is a man. Verbal noun. Verbal nouns are nouns derived from verbs and do not have verb-like properties, example, building, drawing, attack. We discuss all remaining chapters one by one in the upcoming videos. Thank you for your attention. If you are excited about upcoming videos, then you can subscribe to this channel.